Hello, it's Sean with Blade Mate Lawn Care. Uh, today I just want to have a little bit of a talk about um, goals and working towards goals and the things that the boxes you need to tick to do that. Um, so to begin with, I've got to give you a little bit of a background myself. Presently, I'm still in the Australian Army. I'm on long service leave. My dis I mean, discharging early next year. Blade Mate Lawn Care has been a side hustle for me. Uh, for about the last well, nearly two years, I haven't done a lot to develop it. You know, I've just kind of been treading water, doing it on my own pace, because I didn't need to. Like I said, it wasn't my, my main income. Um, so I just made a very small investment in the beginning. You've all seen my crappy little grey trailer that I towed behind my Land Cruiser. Um, I've had a couple of mowers come and go since then. Um, I've made recently. I bought my my, my new uh, Rover. Pro Cut, which is which is my main workhorse at the moment. Um, I have several whippersnippers, etc. So all the stuff that you need uh, to do it. However, um, let's face it, equipment is the limiting factor. Um, and in lawn care, obviously, goals should always revolve around that equipment because that opens doors for you. Um, now, towing that little grubby little trailer that doesn't have a lot of space in it, and not to mention. I can't really do much with my Land Cruiser either. I can't put stuff in the back of it. It's got it's got the seats in the back because I've got four kids and they tie them around in it. So um, basically, it's an impractical setup is what I'm getting at. So now that my discharge is very impending, I'm in a position where I can throw myself at it full time. Um, now, I've got a few points on that. So first of all, Part of this job for me, I do this job for the love of it. I'm leaving the army and taking a big pay cut to do lawn care, disregarding all the multitude of other qualifications I've got. I've got a couple of diplomas, or I have a degree, um, I have a, um, I'm a fitter machinist by trade, but I want to mow lawns. I, I don't want to do anything else. It's, it's complete 180 from everything that I've done before. Um, and I love it. It's, if you can, I always say to people, um, if you could do any job, if money wasn't an issue, what would it be? Well, for me, it's it's long care, it's mowing, mowing grass. I love it. Um, so anyway, that's why that's why I do it, literally for the love of it. Um, so, with regards to moving forward, I also love the gratification that comes with developing the business and the brand. Um, I I haven't gone out and made big purchases. Not because I can't, like, you know, I've got savings. I could go and buy a big truck, um, a big trailer, a big zero turn. I will in the future. However, I want to earn that. I want to earn it. That's part of the process for me. It's part of my personal gratification that I need in my life. That's what I need. Um, and so I'll, I'm going to develop my business. I'm going to earn more money from it. I'm going to get that big gear and I'm going to have watched it come from that crappy little grey trailer with two males in the back of it, you know, looking like some of the other, um, you know, big operators that you, you've seen on YouTube. Um, you all know who I'm talking about, you know, some of, some of you guys watching have uh, unbelievable setups that I've seen. And you know what? You've all worked to it and you've all earned it. That's where I'm at in the journey now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you outside, I'm going to show you... Um, my current setup versus something else. A little bit of a surprise for you that I'm pretty happy with. Okay, let's go have a look. So here's what the inside of my trailer looks like. There's not much to it. Um, I'll keep a little bit more equipment in my garage, but here's my main uh, sort of setup. I've got my mower. I'll keep Vic, a little backup mower down the back there. I've got my other commercial mower in the shed. Um, obviously a couple of jerrys. Um, I have another one of these, that's just my whip snipper. I have another one of them in the shed. I actually have two, but one of them is with the big handlebars. I don't really use that much. That's my combi with my edger. Um, that's my blower. I've got an echo blower as well. However, I've tried to consolidate all my two stroke stuff to the one brand. Um, I've just chosen the steel, it's pretty reliable. Um, and in doing so, you don't have to. Uh, all the all the two stroke ratios are the same. So I found with my Echo it had a slightly different ratio. It was just a little bit of a nuisance. Um, in this trailer under the catcher here, 
oh, my stuff's a bit filthy. I just kind of got poured rain yesterday. I just chucked it in the trailer. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, it's getting a bit crappy in here. There were some racks um, end up there, but they kind of broke. And truth be told, busy lifestyle, side hustle, not my main gig. Haven't given it as much attention as it deserves. Um, however, I'm at that that point now uh, where I am throwing more time and effort at the at Blade Mate, and um, I have gone and made a little purchase. I'll show you. So I went and purchased this. It was already pretty well set up for mowing. <clears throat> Fit all my you know, smaller stuff in here. I can break me my power pack down. Got my edger in there, my blower, everything you see. Just all the, all the stuff that you need on hand. Um, it's pretty nifty. Little tool bag. That's all fully lockable and secure. Uh, around the back here, this is probably the coolest feature. Little um, little ramp, and that that ramp rolls underneath um, the car. And it's just a little lock here, and you can just lock that. You know, it's almost like a bloody jail cell. And I could fit two mowers in there if I put the, the handle down, or even a big bin in front of it if I needed to take that with me. Um, what I am going to do, however, is mount a rack somewhere to put my whipper snipper because that's not the most practical setup having that in there. Uh, it's better than the trailer, of course, but you know, I want this to really shave precious minutes off at every job mat and around this side this is just where i keep my um pols and anything else that i want to fit in here and don't be alarmed it's not fully sealed there's a couple of holes drilled uh, in there in the toolbox and on the side just to vent that fuel um yeah, a little bit of an older car but i've uh, checked the mechanical history of it everything it needs it's at that point in its life where those once in a lifetime repairs have been conducted so it's uh, mechanically A1, drives like a dream, you know, new clutch, uh, new crankshaft seals, new, the diff's been redone, um, new, new timing belt, you know, all, all the big ticket items in here, it just drives like an absolute dream. And the price is right, so, yeah, and that's just going to be so much more handy, just zipping around in this, um, instead of taking my bloody family car and a trailer everywhere. Couple little, little gate locks under there that it clips onto, and this is just a little fail safe mechanism, a little piece of wood, just in case the gates don't work, the gate locks don't work, it literally a little mechanical stop. Simple and effective. Happy with that. So, yeah, that's that. Um, handy little setup for a solo operator um, who's just cut just mowing lawns, just residential lawns. You know, I'm not doing big acreages, uh, of course, in the future. Um, when I, I get a bigger trailer, um, I, I can get a zero turn, I, I can expand my business. These are all goals that I'm going to have, but at the moment, I'm just happy to be able to use that setup that I just showed you to be able to more practically and efficiently knock out a couple more yards a day. And that's the first step, you know. Rain wasn't built in a day. Uh, you might have a question with regards to what I do for green waste, because you saw. With all, with all that, I didn't have much um, room on the back of the ute. Well, around here, the local council provides green waste bins. And um, yeah, I just I just asked the, the client, can I tip it in your bin? Otherwise, I've got to sting you with a waste removal fee. Obviously, they say yes, like the bins get emptied for free and they're at their house and they're not going to use them because I'm mowing their lawns. So they always say yes. So 99% um, of the time, I don't need to take any green waste with me. Um, on the cleanup jobs I do on occasion, I take um, a, I got a big bunch of these just large bags. I'll just fill them up and take them to the tip. Um, but that's rare. And, you know, their bags, I'll just pile them in the back on top of everything. It's fine, it works. However, uh, moving forward, obviously, like I said, when I get the trailer, um, or a different trailer, um, you know, I'll probably take on a lot more cleanup jobs. But at the moment, my current business model and the jobs that I choose to do, uh, this suits me just fine. So, anyway, I hope you. Enjoy the video and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.